Are you thinking about building? Or maybe you're in the process and you want to change up something in your van. Here are some great tips to help you save some money and maybe create more happiness within your van life. Hi, Wandering Wheel. Welcome to Travel Around Susie. I want to show you how I have built some part of my van on a very cheap budget. If you think outside of the box sometimes, you can create really cool ideas, but you turn them into something that would work in your van. Are you about ready to build? Come check out this video and let me show you some different ideas. Also too, let me know down in the comments if you have done anything like this or what's your tip I love seeing what other people have done in their vans. Put it in the comment below. Let me see what you got. Let's learn from each other. One of the examples I wanted to show you was this cabinet right here. We built a box out of wood. This is just material that I found and I'm going to show you places where I find material like this. I stuck these little shoe organizers, which I do have a short on how to save space and organize your van. Go check that out if you haven't seen that. Over here is another example of more material. This is just a board that we put for the overhead cabinet. This is material that matches the van interior. And I'm going to show you where I found these materials. There are things like this that I have found. Come along. Let me show you ways to find things that are very inexpensive and might be great for your van build. I'm going to go right in here. I'm going to show you different things that I look for when I go in places like this. Now I also go into secondhand stores all over. Check this out. And if you had a spot for this. Look at that handbar. Take the wheels off on them. This would be perfect if I didn't already have something. Any books? Film that builder. Look at this. 29 cents. If you're not a builder and you don't have any skills or any tools, you can put these little baskets in here. Put a bungee across here. It would hold that in. Super simple. Real. There's another one. This one's got matching. There's two. I've seen people do filing cabinets. I don't think I'd want that in my build. And check this out. These are all sheets. Look at need blackout curtains or material to go on reflective. Gray 99 right there. Complete black. And what I do, because they hold it up to the light, you can see a little light. But if you put reflectives on that, look, like here's another section. And today, chance looks $3.99 and that's half off. You need some screen for your windows. $3.99. You want a different color? I kind of like that. That would make a great bug screen for your windows. It is three ninety nine. It's a lot of material. This is what I've used. My side windows are accessible. I can still have air coming in and out of them. I have a permanent screen on this one. I can take it off. It's just velcro, and if I want to take this out. Depending on if I'm trying to be stealth, I can open my windows. Nobody can see in. I can still get some fresh air. I don't have to worry about the mosquitoes. Happy campers. My friends gave that to me for my birthday. Thank you. I have done this to my front windows and my back windows. Now, if you go back on my channel, you will see a no skill, no sewing curtain. I found two curtains in a secondhand store. They donated all their proceeds went to animal shelters. And I bought two curtains. Then I used the snap process. And that's how I hang up curtains for the front of my van. You can go check that video out too. There's some other materials. All kinds of stuff.
You want decorative screens? I took a set of these curtains and made curtains in my van. Ten dollars for two panels. And I'll show you how I made curtains in my back windows with regular curtains like this. Here's another step. When I was showing you the gray curtains, this is what I did. I took the snaps, screwed it in there, put a snap through here, I needed a pair of scissors and a hammer. I bought all that these are is two two paneled curtains. I found these at a second hand store. I want to say in Florida. It was a whole set. I had the ballast and it had four panels. I took one panel. I had already had the reflective right here that I had just shoved in my window. I took that as my template, laid that down, and then I cut, safety pinned it, and then I put a little hole in it using that screw, put a hole into it, snapped it together. Now I have a curtain. They can't see in and I can't see out, but for safety, if I need to see out, bam, I can look out. And if I'm parked somewhere where there's beautiful scenery, I can take this whole curtain down and watch outside. And I left the reflectives inside to make it room darkening or not see through. You can get a lot of materials to cover your windows, to make curtains, Depending on what size, this here blanket would be great to shut, I mean, throw this in the wash. It would be great to block out the front two seats and keep all that heat out or keep the cold out. Sleeping bags, 10 bucks for a sleeping bag if you're camping in the cold winters. Comforters, there's another sleeping bag, 10 bucks. Here's another thing I look for. For example, here's a zip pillowcase. I have one of these out in my van. It stores my extra blanket. Maybe you like the color purple. Put a small blanket in there or your pajamas in there. Or a winter coat. You got a pillow. I don't think this one has a zipper. No zipper on that one. Here's another one. You could put a little decorative one. You could put some pajamas in there. Some summer clothes different ways to store different stuff. You want to get real festive. Look at this. It's got a zipper. Just a pillowcase. $2.99. Looks like a lemon. Lime green lemon. They have all different colors. Alright, when I showed you the pillows, the pillowcases in the secondhand stores. This is my pillowcase. I've got, this one's kind of like for a full body, I think it's called, or a body pillow. But I have two blankets, this one and then this blanket. They're just in there folded up. They're protected, they stay clean. They don't unfold, unravel. If I need an extra cushion, I have a cushion. If I need an extra pillow because I want to lay up in bed and read, I've got an extra pillow. I can conform it. And then I'll put it up against the wall. But over here by the window, I put this like this. Then I put another pillow here. Then I use that as a backrest. So there's lots of options for multi-use for this one pillow, but it stores away when I'm not using it. Yesterday, when I was in the store, there was material that was, and it's like a quilted blanket, and it kind of reminds me of a, like a moving blanket. We have a window that we have fans in. When we're stealth camping, I don't want anybody seeing 
what we're doing in the van. I want to be able to open my window. It is a usable window, so I can open it. At night, people can see in this window even though it's tinted. If we have our phones on, I took a little screw. I doubled this. And then I took Velcro strip. They're supposed to be four wires. I just screwed it right into the board. I've got to put one more screw over here. Nobody can see in, nobody can see out. When we're out in the wilderness, and I don't have to worry about that, I can open this window and I can let the fresh air in. What I do is I just wind this up. Here, in these two boxes, right over here and here, are going to be a video that is related to this video. The other one is the one that YouTube thinks you should watch. Click into that now.